Hi guys and welcome to episode number 42 of my SPSS tutorial videos here on YouTube. My name is Bas and today we're going to take another look at clustering. And we, uh, this is the last video out of a free uh, video series about clustering. In episode 40 we discussed, um, we discussed two-step clustering. In episode 41 we discussed uh, the hierarchical uh, method of clustering. And today we're going to take a look at the k-means clustering. And what is important is that the hierarchical clustering and the k-means clustering belong together. Because with the hierarchical uh, clustering method, you can determine how many clusters there are in a certain sample. Uh, and in this case, we have three variables, anxiety, depression, and attention deficit disorder. And there are 30 respondents in this sample, in this data set. And uh, what we determined with the hierarchical uh, 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 analysis is that there are two clusters, cluster one and cluster two. And if you haven't watched episode 41 yet, then please do so. I'll show you how you can determine the amount of clusters from the dendrogram. Uh, but today we're gonna do, the, the problem with the hierarchical uh, uh, analysis is that it just gives the amount of clusters, but it doesn't give any more information, no more insight compared to, for example, the two-step clustering and the, uh, the k-means clustering. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to Analyze, Classify, k-means cluster, and we're going to select the three variables. We're going to select the three variables, yes. And then the number of clusters you need to know. So that's why you need to do a hierarchical, uh, hierarchical uh, cluster analysis first, because you need to know how many clusters there are. And in this case, it's two. Then at iterate, you want to change the 10 to 99 and press continue. Then at save, you want to select cluster membership. And if you want distance from cluster center, uh, but I don't think that's very useful for every respondent. And then at options, you want to select an ANOVA table. Uh, and then press continue. And then you press paste. And if you then go to your syntax screen, you'll see the code for the clustering. And you select the big green play button. And then you get, uh, uh, uh then you get, uh, the, uh, the cluster analysis. And what you can see uh, is the, it's not, it doesn't give the amount of respondents in each one. That's odd. I thought that it would give that. Uh, but if we're going to take a look at the final cluster centers, you can see the average of all the variables for each, uh, for each variable, uh, for each variable, uh, for each cluster. So for example, cluster one has an average anxiety of 63, while cluster two has an average uh, attention deficit disorder of 33.63. So that uh, shows all the six values. And then in the ANOVA table down below, you can actually see whether those differences are significant or not. And in this case, all the three variables are have a significant difference between the two cluster groups. So once again, you use the hierarchical uh, uh, data set, the hierarchical clustering to determine the amount of clusters, which in this case was two. And then you use the k-means cluster over here in the bottom. You can see the number of cases of each cluster. Yeah, you can see that cluster 1 consists of 14 members and cluster 2 consists of 16 members. And then you can use the k-means cluster to determine the means of all the clusters for the variables and an ANOVA to determine whether there are significant differences between those two clusters. And if you then close the output and the syntax screen, you can see that a new variable has been made which I will call cluster. And if we then go back to the data view, we can see that now there is a data, uh, that now there is a variable called cluster for every respondent. It says now whether they are in cluster one or in cluster two. So to sum it up, uh, you can use the two-step uh, clustering to, uh, to let SPSS determine how many uh, clusters there are. And it gives a lot of information and graphs. So I, I, I personally myself prefer the two-step clustering, uh, or you can use the mix of the hierarchical clustering to determine the amount of clusters, and then the k-means clustering uh, to show the means and whether they are significantly different or not. 
Okay, so if you have any questions on clustering, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, then please uh, leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. I want to make BuzzPSS grow as much as possible, so every single uh, subscription would be very much appreciated. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.